Yo, what's up guys, it's Gizel here, and today we're back at it again once again with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about Treyarch Next Todd. A lot of pieces and bits is coming out. We just made, I believe, two or three videos uh, about the next Treyarch title, which is just insane, but we have another piece of information, and this is coming from Rick Toffin, voice actor, so you know, this shit is real. And shout out to like, I mean, July, or not July, but April, I believe, or March, or February of 2017, when DLC5 information was coming out, and a lot of the voice actors or Spanish voice actors, I mean, uh, Portuguese, uh, I, I completely butchered it. But hey, I'm gonna try to make this video in one go because I'm gonna be out of town by the time you're actually watching this video. And I may have a couple of videos go up on the channel as well, which I will link it down in the description. Check them out after this one. But uh, this information is coming from Rick Toff and voice actor. And this information may be good or may not be good. It really depends how you see it. I'm just gonna go through it real quick, show you guys the proof. We're gonna talk a little bit about the, the possibilities, we're gonna talk about some theories, some speculation, I'm just gonna give you guys my opinions, and uh, Mob of the Dead Remaster may have transit character, or we're gonna play as the transit crew, which can be really good. And uh, let's actually jump right into it, I'm just gonna open this up, just put this up on the screen for you guys, and uh, hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can just throw you in the next video. Now, a Reddit user by the name of SmokeMonkey97 posted over on Reddit by saying, I met Nolan North, Edward Richthofen, at New York City today, and we discussed the future of Treyarch Zombies. He said, I met Nolan and got an autograph today, I'll post pictures when I get home. I was a bit starstruck, especially since I wanted to meet him since the Reese drop, and Richthofen quickly became my favorite character. Mine is my boy Nikolai, let me know who's your favorite character in the comments. But he also said, it also caught me off guard when he started talking like the infamous doctor. Once, or the Zadokta, <laughs> once I settled down, we talked for a bit about Treyarch Zombies. Nolan said that Treyarch hasn't called him up yet to do any voice work, which he would normally be notified by now. He also said that he would be pretty disappointed if Treyarch dropped the OG4 storyline for good, and he wouldn't be ricked off and again. One last thing he mentioned, which caught me by surprise, was that he said, and I quote, I don't see why Treyarch, or I mean Activision, wouldn't just put out a standalone zombies game with the original characters. That's some like spicy information. Of course, to this statement I properly exclaimed very loudly, thank you Nolan, and explained how the zombies community had wanted this for a long time. Now, he mentioned that he wanted to call up Activision to see if they would ever be interested in the possibility of a standalone zombie since he may not be doing any or many, I mean, other, other projects for them besides Destiny 2. That's all we talked about before I shook his hand, thanked him, then left. Overall, super nice guy, and he actually said, we'll meet up once again, or again, one day, which I'm sure he just says to be nice, but it's nice to have that hope still. 10 out of 10 would meet up uh, again. Edit Nolan wanted a standalone game of the four main characters to continue their storyline. Now, this is what he provided as proof. So he met Nolan, he's the guy behind Rick Toffin, uh, uh, he, he does all that voice acting and everything like that. This is a picture that shows he actually got a signed autograph by Nolan aka Richthofen. Now real quick, this could be hinting that Edward Richthofen is not gonna be in the next track title. And a lot of people would be sad, but I know for the fact Red Austin aka Reed, he was saying like he doesn't want track to continue because it's getting repetitive and everything like that, which I get it. But at the same time, a lot of people would be disappointed. It can very well happen that the next map that we're gonna get will be based in London and we're gonna have a whole new cast. Maybe we're gonna play again with the Shadows of Evil character or Shadows of Evil crew members, right? Or maybe it's gonna be a new cast and maybe Mob of the Dead Remaster, a lot of people have been speculating this and there's a lot of like uh, rumors going around and even Jason Blindle said that Mob of the Dead has its place, right? So Mob of the Dead Remaster can very well happen and a lot of people were assuming we're gonna play as the O4 character and Nolan said he has a be notified so maybe it's that we're gonna play as transit crew in uh, Mob of the Dead Remaster, which would still be mind-blowing, right? Because a lot of uh, rumors and pieces and bits actually pointing a direction where transit crew will be present in Mob of the Dead. So this makes sense and maybe in DLC 1 or maybe let's say DLC 2 or 3 or 4 or maybe even DLC 5 or 6 in the next track title which may be called Black Ops 4 uh, we're gonna play again with Edward Richthofen. Maybe, who knows, 
but it seems like in the in the beginning we're not gonna have Edward Richthofen, which makes sense because uh, Shadows of Evil didn't have that, but in the Easter egg ending cutscene we saw like Richthofen came in, but uh, the giant of course needed Richthofen or Nolan recording for the Richthofen characters, and this time around it doesn't seem like uh, he's gonna be present, at least in the beginning. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section right now. Check out some other videos on the screen, subscribe if you're new on the channel, and I'll see you very soon. Freaking soon.